Ladies and gentlemen, I am Brock Beard, and this is your starting lineup as they have qualified for the 66th annual Daytona 500. It's an all Ford, all yellow, all one-time 500 winner front row. On the pole, 2015 winner, slice bread himself, Joey Logano, and 2021 Daytona 500 champion, Michael McDowell. Row two, both of them winners of dramatic last lap passes in Thursday's duel, the nasty beast of Tyler Reddick and overlooked championship contender, Christopher Bell. Row 3, fan favorite Chase Elliott looks to rebound from a disastrous season last year. Today, the Napa car lines up next to 2022 500 champion Austin Sindrick. Row 4, Alex, the greatest bowman, doesn't start on the 500's front row for the first time since his rookie season in 2014. This time, he's next to three-time 500 winner and this month's Clash winner, Denny Hammerin Hamlin. Row 5, Carson Hosevar is the top qualifying rookie after a fourth place finish in his duel. Alongside him is a returning John Hunter Nemechek, this time running the number 42 his father Joe raced for Felix Sabata's in the late 90s. The two most iconic numbers in NASCAR are in row 6 with that Jones boy Eric Jones back in a Toyota and the Wood Brothers Harrison Burton. Row 7, Daniel Suarez was on the very edge of control as he finished his duel on Thursday. High Lane Zane Smith, your 2022 Truck Series champion, begins his first full-time cup season. Row 8, last year's Rookie of the Year, Ty Gibbs showed impressive speed in the clash, and Brad the Big Keslowski, his 15th attempt to win the 500. Row 9, Young Money, Kyle Larson makes his 11th try at the great race, and Hendrick teammate William Red Byron won a series-high six races last season. He finished third in points. Row 10, from Prosper, Texas, last summer's Daytona winner Chris Buescher. Congratulations on the birth of his second child, and the Mahindra machine of Indiana's Chase Briscoe. Row 11, the Melon Man, Ross the Boss Chastain, and the Comet, Justin Haley, has shown impressive speed in his first laps driving for Rick Ware. Row 12, two-time 500 winner Jimmy Johnson squeaks the 80 Dama 4 into the field on Thursday. The only question for the first active Hall of Fame member to start the 500 is, can he finish higher? Bubba Wallace, twice a runner-up in the 500, starts to his outside. Row 13, Priest Lightning, Ryan Priest, back from a nasty crash here last summer. Kaz Gralla makes his third 500 start after a blown engine kept the 36 from completing a lap in qualifying. Row 14, will the new Jersey Fury, Martin Truex Jr. end the longest active streak without a 500 win, his 20th year of trying, or will it be a 20th year of frustration? Starting alongside, it's dangerous AJ Allmendinger. Row 15, Hot Shoe Corey LaJoy finished 8th here 4 years ago. Late model standout Josh Berry brings the purple stuff to the Sunny D team, taking the place of the retired Kevin Harvick. Row 16, 3rd generation racer Todd Gilliland for front row, and defending series champion Ryan Inside Blaney drives the first of 4 backup cars. It's an all RCR Row 17 with 2018 winner Austin Ace Dillon, and now in his 19th attempt, the wild thing Kyle Busch led lap 200 last year, then lost in overtime. The 18th row has the winner of that race, the pride of Olive Branch, Mississippi, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. To his outside, Xfinity Series regular Riley Terrible Herbst could be a surprise today. The Vegas native finished 10th in last year's 500, 9th at Talladega after battling the leaders all day, and led 7 laps of his duel on Thursday. Row 19 has the last place finishers of Thursday's duel, both returning to full-time competition after an absence. Daniel Heartbreak Hemrick, his first 500 in two years, and Noah Gregson in the former Omarola car at Stuart Haas. And rounding out the field are the fastest open cars from Wednesday. In 39th, it's Tony Sauce, Anthony Alfredo for Beard Motorsports, and the debut of Stage 60, the third RFK car, goes to the amazing David Reagan. Two drivers failed to qualify this year, both after spirited battles that went all the way to the wire. J.J. Yaley in his first run for the NY Racing Team since 2018, and Florida's own B.J. McLeod for Live Fast Motorsports. And in the words of the great Ken Squire, there's your field for the great 
American race. So who is going to win the 500? Be sure to tell me in the comments below. More field fillers, 500 days, and other videos are coming soon, plus my next live stream after the 500, so be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. In America, there exists a sport that is driven by the fans. They are why everyone works so hard. On the teams and at the tracks, in front of the grandstands and behind the scenes, to give the fans the greatest race possible. NASCAR fans deserve the best, starting from the high banks of Daytona, all the way to the shores of California, and at every race in between. NASCAR fans, you're the reason for our success. Thanks.